very deep. 5-1 defence, Pondy into the wing, booked. Behind now, 16 and a half minutes into the first half, into the wing, Diska. Well, he managed to tempt Mitrevsky off the post. Bounced it on the near side. He's so quick at getting the ball out when he makes the saves. Into the line. Conceded for Remili. Richardson, who's now come in for Mem. And once again, Hugo Diska. Goal number six by the North Macedonian so far. The ball is stolen. Prandi is away, no one's near him. Hammers that one away, no chance of Mitrevsky. First goes in, Bort. Puts a bit of a block on, oh yes! And Bort's arrival sucked in the defender, and it meant that when Pondy went 95... He's now on five goals as well. In four World Championship, and this is fourth European. Release, Pondy. Well, he's been defenses in uh, the world, France, but here today being made to look very average. Do that one. We've got two on the line. Now, Kunkud. Yeah. Download the Home of Handball app. And then you can vote on that uh, app from the 40. Oh! Absolute bullet! Two late goals by France. Remili and Prandi. And suddenly it looked to be. Three goals by Germany to come back. For the wingers, but they were covered. Germany have done that well, at least they know how quick France are. Oh, and Pondy! It's effectively a deep 3 3. Mem. Oh, cheeky one! Pondy looks for. Uh, he's actually a club teammate at uh, Polish side Kielce with Tourna Nai. A little bit of space for uh, Pondy. Pondy. Oh, let's rip. First goal of the game for the Paris Saint Germain left back. As uh, Gustafsson looks on, focused. But Pondy, let's rip again. The man with the fastest shot in the game. So Austria trying to turn the bench a little here today. Niger has gone in at right wing while Weber is having a break. Elohim Pondy. Fourth place could prove to be critical. Pondy, two things on the line. Oh, a big gap opens up, and Erwin Pondy smacks the ball past his club teammate at Paris Saint Germain. Maybe even Bolzange. Penalty is given. There was a delay because the uh, referee. It may well be the lowest number of goals scored by uh, France. That's a penalty. He's getting too bogged down into it, into the wing now. And this guy... Pondy. Oh, he scored! Unbelievable! And France on the whistle from a direct throw! Their time, France, no rush. Swedish fans and the Germans, for that matter, egging them on. Nay! Extra pressure on Sweden, looking for the line. Oh, hammers it away, Louis Pondy! Have to rearrange things, and the problem for France is that Dikamem is struggling today, but uh, Richardson... Oh! There is one of the big shots! Pondy is... France, of course, so mentioned earlier that uh, Richardson has gone home. And his wife's giving birth, hence they're uh, having to use... Yeah, you're rather disjointed, very deep 3-2-1 defence, Pondy. Opens up the wing. Nay, near some great defending by Denmark. They've managed to isolate Dika Mem, but they haven't managed to isolate that man there. <laughs> They're not going to be hurried. Thank you, but uh, and the Danes have been so quick to come back in defence. And it's equalised! Fabregas, goal number seven. But Denmark have 12. Tw Brilliantly played, Pondy sucked in two defenders and almost from the ground passes up to as much as they can. Releases the ball, dummies it. Now he gives it to Fabregas! Hammers it into the back of the goal, there'll be no time to do anything else. Eighth goal for Ludovic at the back. Oh, he scores! 